Welcome back to yet another installment in the 9mm Ammo Quest where I'm trying to find the best performing self-defense ammo from a pocket pistol such as this 3-inch barrel SIG P938. Uh, many of us are carrying these small short barrel pistols and there's been lots of ammo tests done from 4-inch or 4.6-inch barrels, you know, big police officer guns, full-size guns, but those results don't necessarily apply to the you know, much restricted three inch barrel here. So I'm trying to find what will perform best from this. And today's candidate, Winchester Ranger T in 147 grain. So yes, another Ranger. The reason why is because A, a very kind viewer sent these to me to evaluate. So I appreciate the donation. Uh, but also B, I've been told more than, more than once that if you haven't tried Ranger T, you haven't tried Winchester's best, that these should really fit the bill. Well, I'm game. I'm looking for something that will fit the bill, especially in a 147 grain, because while we found some superb performers in lighter weights, it's been a challenge to find something good in 147. So I'm optimistic that maybe these uh, Ranger T's will deliver what we're looking for. What are we looking for? Well, my standards are those established by the FBI and the International Wound Ballistics Association on what a bullet needs to do in order to perform likely to be able to cause an incapacitating hit. And that is a minimum of 12 inches and a maximum of 18 inches of penetration through ballistic gel or soft tissue. What I've got here is professional organic ballistic gelatin, the real stuff, prepared properly, stored properly, shot properly, and it's gonna be with and without four layers of IWBA spec 16 ounce per square yard denim. So we're gonna get real results. We're gonna find out just how well these Rangers do and we're gonna find that out right now. Through the Bear Jill, the Ranger 147 T series is stunningly good. We have not had a lot of luck with 147 grain bullets, which is not really a fair thing to say. I should say that uh, we've had pretty much no luck with 147 grain bullets other than the HSTs, but these Ranger Ts did the job exactly as it should be done. We got the Shores bullet at 13 and a quarter, next one at 13 and three quarters, and then three of them at 15 inches, right perfect on the mark where I like to see them best, right halfway between that 12 to 18 inch window, right on 15. They look like they all expanded, they look fantastic. And uh, you know, now we gotta see how they do in the denim because denim is where the 147s have fallen apart before. But if these things hold up, I think HST is gonna be looking over its shoulder because this is a fantastic performance so far. As far as penetration depth and consistency goes, the Ranger T's were utterly stellar. These had penetration and consistency that would make the HST's jealous. We got one at 15 and a half, three of them at 16, and one at 17. All of them on the far end of the 12 to 18 inch window that we're looking for, uh, which is perfect. It's ideal. It's what we want to see. 15 is normally where I'd like to see them come in. So 15 and a half and 16 is excellent. 17 is getting close to 18 inch limit, but it's still within it. It's still great. Nine out of the 10 are pretty much perfect. 10th one, we had some partial expansion, not complete. And that's through the denim. We also had a sort of similar situation with the HST. So I'm not too worried about that. I mean, it still did expand into a nasty bullet and they all penetrated deep. The penetration was fantastic, but the expanded bullets, they're just a big smush of lead. They're not as, as uh, polished and pristine as the HSTs are, but they are big and they are mean. These talons mean that, you know, I have to manipulate these bullets to measure them and everything. And I had a number of cuts and there is some blood associated with, with tallying these bullets here. Uh, I would not want to get hit with one of these. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to cut a lot more flesh as it travels at high speed through the body, because usually the cavitation means that the, the leading edge the, the flesh will spread around there. So these aren't necessarily going to be ripping as it's going at high speed, but when it slows down, gets towards the end of its travel, these will come into play where a smoother bullet might just slip between flesh. This is gonna make sure that something gets cut and ripped as it goes through. And the depth was fantastic. The depth was actually better than we got with the HST. So overall, 
what is there to complain about? The only possibility is this slightly partial expander here. Uh, that doesn't make me thrilled. Maybe that was the one that was under 900 feet per second. I have to have to check the numbers again, but all the rest of 9 out of 10 are just genius. Look at this one here. That's just a nasty, painful, horrible bullet to go through there. Now, compared to the HSTs, because that's the obvious competition here, these 147s did very well and penetrated deeper. The HSTs, I'm going to bring out a denim, a bullet from denim on HSTs. The HSTs are slightly bigger than the denim bolts, which is pretty much exactly why the, the smaller bullet was able to penetrate a little bit deeper. So in the choice between these two guys, uh, which do you want? A slightly bigger bullet that penetrates not as far or a slightly smaller bullet that penetrates deeper? Either way, they both look to be utterly outstanding choices. Okay, I'm not calling Ranger the winner, but I am saying, you know, I did, it was tongue-in-cheek, I handed the crown out to the HSTs when I tested the 147 Plus P, because I thought they represented the best combination of penetration and expansion that we'd seen so far. I don't know, guys, I think these Rangers did better, because I definitely prefer the penetration that the Rangers delivered. I also like the fact that they're a heavy bullet, they're 147s, and I also like the fact that it's standard pressure. We didn't have to go to Plus P pressure to get these excellent results. I will say that the HSTs expanded a little bit bigger, which is why they didn't penetrate quite as deep. These did not expand quite as big, which is why they penetrate a little deeper. Uh, the number one factor you need is sufficient penetration. I believe they both did sufficient, but I kind of prefer what the Rangers did. So if you like a heavy bullet, and I generally do like heavier bullets, I think this Ranger warrants serious consideration, and I am really glad to find that we finally have something other than HST that we can crow about, because HSTs, you gotta love them, and they're great, but I like there to be a variety. I like the manufacturers to compete for our business, and I think the Ranger Ts are a superb entry. Very, very pleased with how they did. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified when the next video is posted.